Margaret Clarkson. I'm sorry, I've got a little bit of laryngitis because of the change of the season, but I'm submitting a proposal for a four mile -ish trail that will link five top areas of interest in Columbia, South Carolina to showcase the city and to provide a more zingy offering for visitors and residents alike. Columbia is the capital of South Carolina. It's the largest city in the state and it's my hometown. It has a dynamic river system and lies at the confluence of the Saluda River and the Broad River, and when they come together, they form the Congaree River. Columbia is also the home of the University of South Carolina. It has 36,000 students right in the center of town. In addition to the university, we have a thriving historic district, a newly revitalized Main Street, an art district made up of old whiskey warehouses, and the rivers at the base of all the action. The population of the city is 133,000 and the greater metropolitan area is projected to grow up to 850,000 by the end of this year. I'm hopeful Art Place will consider my project because I've recently moved back to Columbia and after living in many cities all over the world, one of the challenges as I see is that we have five areas that are within walking distance of one another, but there's no connectivity between one area to the other. There's nothing of interest to lure anyone to learn more about their surroundings. The walking trails incorporated a successful river walk system, using it as a starting point and connecting the University, Historic Columbia, Main Street, the Art District being the Vista, and then back to the river walk at the State Museum. It will have historic highlights, but most importantly, it's designed to showcase and connect these five top areas that are within walking distance of each other. It will be a fun thing to do and a great way to tell the story of Columbia through history, and loop in all the art galleries in the university. After meeting with city leaders, the need has been established that these, this air, these areas need to be connected, and the city has been researching ways to do that, but up until now has been unsuccessful. I'm hopeful the trail will do the trick. It's based on the model of the Freedom Trail in Boston and the Butterfly Trail in Singapore, which I created. The Freedom Trail in Boston has painted markings on the sidewalk and brass medallions. We plan to insert geo markings in the medallions through iBeacons, beacons that will send push notifications about history, culture, or entertainment to your phone when you walk over the key sites on the trail. We plan to have an app and all the maps in key areas to help point the way. If we get this funding, I hope to measure our success by providing a much more connected city and a much healthier way to learn and appreciate the town and its history and culture and a lot more people out on the street walking and learn about where they live. Thank you.